Hi, I'm Nima and I'm a summer student here at CERN. My project is basically analyzing the data. As always in any analysis, signal is a process that we are looking for and background is a process that is really like to our signal but we don't need them. So my goal is to actually estimate some kinematic cuts to remove the contribution of background from the data. In my project, the signal is the production of JPSI from top quark from double parton scattering in proton-proton collision at CMS. Double parton scattering is when simultaneously two partons from each proton interact to each other. It's a really interesting uh, process because it gives us a deeper understanding of uh, actually multi-parton interactions in proton-proton uh, collision here at LHC. So my name is Amal Ali Merzouk. I'm a student of the University of Bahrain and I'm currently working on the MTD detector. So the MTD detector will be installed in the high luminosity era of the LHC and it will help to uh, reconstruct the drugs of particles. So in the, uh, in the MTD detector, we have the BTL and the ETL detectors, two sections. I'm working on the BTL with a Tophir chip that uh, takes the data from PsiPMs with attached to a crystal that uh, the uh, um, MIPS will go through. So we do, we've done a measurement where we uh, shine two, PSYP, two lasers that are synchronized on PsiPMs and uh, we're trying now to uh, further trigger the data in order to have um, one signal of these two synchronized signals in one time tap. Hi, my name is Andres. I'm a physics student and uh, currently I'm working with the CMS experiment. And my job is related to the luminosity measurements and why the luminosity is important because it's a parameter that measures the performance of an accelerator. So that's the uh, real importance. Hello everyone, my name is Ajahara, I'm from Saudi Arabia. My name is Firas and I'm from Lebanon. And we're here to talk to you about our project. So, uh, down in the caverns, there's very high magnetism and radiation, which is not safe for humans to go down there and inspect flaws. Yeah, so as a result, we're designing a robot that can go down and is magnetism and radiation friendly. Uh, so we started with the design process and we built a robot from scratch which is this robot, and as a result, we have our Arduino, which controls the hardware, and then the Jetson Nano and the web application, which controls the software. Yeah, and this is a rough uh, flowchart of what the design or architecture looks like, and hopefully in the future, uh, future summer students can make it more radiation-friendly and magnetism-friendly, and maybe add uh, capabilities where you can map the entire room. Mm -hmm. Thank you.